Hello, my name is Chloe Follen, and I just wanted to create this video just to give people some notice for my upcoming Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 workshop starting in March, and also in the video just to explain that I'm slightly changing the structure of how I teach these classes, meaning usually I would teach my Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 classes over two three-hour classes via Zoom, but as I was sitting down having a look at where I can adapt and where I can um, allow myself a little more time to teach certain materials, I decided it would be better if for the first Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 classes of 2024, if I broke up the classes over four classes that are two hours long. So rather than two three hour classes for two hour classes. So like that as well. The other reason I'm creating this video is just to let people know if you have been waiting on a Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 workshop, then please do have a look at the details. Please do check the dates. It will be online because as I mentioned in previous posts a couple of months ago, in 2024, I do want to concentrate on advanced classes. I've been meaning to make time for advanced classes. So this could be and might be one of the only Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 classes that I give for a few months is what I'm trying to say, meaning I won't be teaching these classes back to back. It'll be a good couple of months before I can make time to teach another Rainbow Bridge phase one online class. So the details, and then I'll get into why this would be of benefit, what the benefits of the Rainbow Bridge techniques are, but just the technical side first. So I'll just bring up my screen share. This will be on my website soon. So Rainbow Bridge phase one. So the dates. So the phase one classes will be taking place via Zoom and the classes are going to be recorded, but they will be for class participants only. And the energy exchange for the class does also include a full instruction manual, meaning diagrams, all of the notes. So for my Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 online classes for this year for 2024, there's four classes that are two hours long. It starts on Sunday, March the 3rd from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Irish time zone. I'm located in Ireland. So the first class, Sunday, March the 3rd. Second class, Sunday, March the 10th. And the aim of those two to our classes are to teach all aspects of phase 1A, which is healing the central channel in stages, meaning I will be revising the soul mantra prayer, making sure everyone understands the soul mantra, that everyone's very confident in the location of the soul star chakra, what the soul star chakra is, and how to effectively link and connect with the soul star chakra for healing the central vertical channel in stages. And there are other prayers that we will be covering. So I'll be going into huge detail in phase 1A. As I always am expressing in my classes, I, I'm doing more than just teaching the straightforward A, B, Cs and Ds of Rainbow Bridge phase 1. I go into detail over how other aspects of what's taught can be applied. So going into detail with the spiritual vortex, not just the soul mantra prayer, practical application of the soul mantra prayer and the spiritual vortex, meaning how you can work with those two invocations and prayers aside from your Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 work. So I'll be going into a lot of detail and there's a lot to cover. So that's what will be covered in those first two classes in March, Sunday, March the 3rd and March the 10th. I then very deliberately will be giving a couple of weeks break until the next two classes. And the 
next two two hour classes will be on Sunday, June the 9th and Sunday, June the 16th. And the reason for the break in the four classes is to give you a chance to then practice what's been taught in the first two classes, meaning these suggestions over practical application over the prayers and mantras you're taught, as well as giving you a chance to complete healing the central channel in stages. In other words, by the time the June classes start, you would have completed Rainbow Bridge Phase 1A and you'll be ready for Rainbow Bridge Phase 1B, the technicalities of widening the central channel with the Soul Star Chakra, as well as teaching you the daily centering aligning technique and the practical application of two very effective, powerful invocations that you can apply to everyday situations. So, in other words, the June classes are for teaching you phase 1B, because you'll be ready for phase 1B at that stage, the widening phase, as well as other Rainbow Bridge related techniques. I'll also be going into detail over the Great Invocation Prayer, the mantra of unification. And please keep in mind, that's the reason why the classes will be recorded. So you will forever and always have access to the classes and you can revise what's taught in your own time because part of the homework will be revising the classes and the class recording as part of homework and solidifying what you're taught as well as putting into practice what you've been taught. So they're very thorough classes and very detailed classes, but I always make sure that by the time the class is finished, everyone has fully understood what's been taught and is confident in then applying what's been taught and confident in what the homework will be. So those are the details. I believe I've covered that. So even though I'm giving notice now for these Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 workshop classes, I'm, I'll just be noticing who is interested, meaning I'm not going to be seeking a deposit because a deposit is needed to hold your place. I am not going to be seeking deposits until February. I'm checking to see where the interest is. And if enough people do sign up, the classes will be going ahead. And that is when I will be seeking a deposit to officially hold your place before the classes start in March. So in terms of the benefits, and again, a little more detail over what will be taught. So the Rainbow Bridge techniques are also known as the Soul Star Clearing techniques. And they were meticulously developed by Josephine and Norman Stevens back in the 1960s. And what I love about these techniques is these techniques were privately tested in prototype groups for 10 years, meaning phase one alone was privately tested for 10 years before being released publicly. And that's what I love about these techniques that so much time, so much care, and so much detail was gathered and details and causations meticulously recorded before these techniques were released. There are very few other techniques out there where that much patience was put into testing a technique before being publicly released. There is so much beautiful patience and beautiful detail that was put into these techniques, making sure that these techniques thoroughly and meticulously would do what is claimed for all before being publicly released. I love that about these techniques, the care that was put into testing them first before being publicly released. So the reason why phase one alone focuses on the central channel, 
meaning how to very effectively link and through creative visualization, co-create healing your central channel in stages and widening your central channel. The reason why so much focus is put on that is, and I like to call this inner core healing. Some other, not all, but some other techniques out there straight away get you to focus on external uh, external karmic imbalance first and pick at that first and sometimes that's not effective one of my main teachings and what I like to really get across to people when I'm teaching this is the focus on clearing and widening the central vertical channel gives you a really good healthy foundation for then working more deeply on external and internal karmic imbalance. It's a point that gets missed or skimmed over by some other techniques out there. Clearing and widening the central vertical channel is about inner core healing over allowing the chakras to sit into place properly freeing deeper blockages out of the central vertical channel, the feminine and masculine part of the central vertical channel from soul star to earth star. And when your chakras are sitting into place properly and this proper width within the central vertical channel, that creates a lot of inner core healing that allows for deeper clarity of thought, a proper internal process for allowing for clearer thought which allows you to receive clearer inspirations including including soul inspirations a better ability to ground your energy in general and ground ideas and inspirations a better personal alignment a better internal core if you will for processing emotions and thoughts and on a more spiritual side of explaining what these techniques do is it also helpfully enforces building the light body because the foundations of building the light body start with better and healthier internal alignment. I quite often find especially with people who would be uh, very aware of building the antikrana and things of that nature. Quite often, it's not about continuing to try to build the antikrana on higher levels. I quite often find it's about finding what was not worked on properly within the central vertical channel. So I'll gently try to express that again. This technique would be for people who are very new to meditation, and that's in the flyer here, the explanation flyer for this technique that will be up on my website soon, as well as my social media. This technique is simultaneously fantastic for people who are very new to meditation or new to karmic clearing techniques, while also being fabulous for people that would be more knowledgeable over building the light body. Because I'll say it again, I quite often find that it, it's not about the antikrana higher up, so to speak, for people who are very advanced. It's more about giving a very clear and very effective technique for doing deeper internal core healing to allow other pieces to line up within the antikrana within forcing building the light body. In other words, what I'm trying to say is sometimes it's been the core self, the internal self, the lower portion of the antikrana bridge, if you will, that hasn't been worked with properly, that might be causing some issues with continuing with that process, even if you're already advanced, with understanding how the light body is built. 
So people are very welcome to this workshop who are new and looking for a really healthy and really grounded technique to begin with, whether it's for meditation, whether it's for a proper foundation for then working on karmic imbalance on a deeper level. This is an excellent place to start and a proper foundation place to start. Or whether it's for enforcing building the light body or whether you're already very advanced and you are discerning enough to uh, maybe pick up on or realize that maybe there's something down here, so to speak, with the antichrona between soul star to earth star or maybe a deeper blockage in the channel or chakra that's being a bit stubborn. So even very advanced people with meditation are very welcome and find this particular workshop very beneficial for those reasons as well. And I will be covering that in the workshop, meaning with my Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 workshops, when I'm teaching about how this technique builds the light body, I teach that through teaching people what is known as the stages of building the rainbow bridge and and crown of thread weaving and heart center petal opening. So stages of building the rainbow bridge and explaining how the light body is built, utilizing that language. Stages of building the rainbow bridge and crown of thread weaving and heart center petal opening. So I will be touching on that as well as part of the workshop. And there's a chapter in your workshop manual that be given to you that outlines that as well. So I believe I have covered what I wanted to address in this video. Just two moments, please, while I check. Yes. So just to go over the basics, I'm putting this uh, video out there now just so people ahead of time are aware of the dates. Please be aware that it's my intention to uh, as in, once I facilitate this Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 workshop, I most likely am not going to be available for a couple of months for another Phase 1 workshop because I'll be focusing on my more advanced workshops. So please do be aware of that if you're interested in Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 and you would like to study with me. Please do consider these dates because it probably will be a good couple of months before I can put on another Rainbow Bridge Phase 1 workshop. And I also do, do keep classes limited. So I'll only be taking between six to 12 people. So basically what I'm saying is there'll be, there'll be a minimum of six people I'll be taking, but I'll only take a maximum of 12. So 12 maximum and they are Zoom online classes. So on that note, if you have any questions and if you would like to just hold a spot, please do contact me through my website, www.chloefolden.com. And there is a contact form as well. There's a contact form link. Please do let me know if you're interested and I'll hold a spot for you. But I won't be seeking deposits until February. So just contact me if you would like to hold a place. And if you know anybody that might be interested, please feel free to send them on the details as well. I'm always very grateful for referrals. So on that note, as always, seven ray blessings to all. And I look forward to hearing from people, even if it's just a query you might have about what I'm teaching. Blessings to all. <laughs>